the Fnatic players here. The fast rotation from Crimson is coming in as well. Looks like they know what's going to happen. Be able to connect those USP shots long range. So far, not nothing actually going the way of Fnatic. That's a really big problem for them because now the Gambit start to get very close with those very dangerous clocks. On those close range, they start to swarm as the bomb gets planted. This is wonderfully hand handled so far by Gambit. This all of well, just Crimson JW left now. They're having a real struggle to get in. Gambit with a fantastic pistol so far. No, no, surely not. Denied. Dozy, I can't believe he's going for it already, James. The knife kill. That's a reasonable read. JW alive for now, but not for long. Mo will finish things off in the pistol round. I like the value play from Dozy looking for the knife. And again, it's good. It's a good psychological advantage for the first round of a best. Diffusing without the kit. Mo with the AWP, it should be the other way around. Mo, but, but Hobbit's got four HP. Which one defuses? At least the kit's there. But Mo, he's got to deliver here. He's got his pistol out. It is so awkward for him. Is he defusing it? I don't think so. Oh my god, it's too late now. What a way to lose a round. Yeah, they've played the slow game and it really hasn't worked out. They're looking maybe for an opening from Fnatic, but there's an opening. JW can kick things off towards the A site, and that's the bomb drop. 14 seconds. What do we even do, Gambit? He goes to save in this situation. It's those to your left picking up an M4. What this round's going to be, but here it is. The entry from Fnatic into the B site. A general be able to get the first kill, but the quick trades make life quite difficult for Gambit. Dozier repositioning, but he can't get anything done in that situation. So man advantages with the CT, so Molotov will try to force Crims out into the open, but the smoke is there. He can hold his position. Flusher getting taken down. T still on the high ground. There's a flank coming in from Molotovmeister, and he better move quick because Dennis is alone on the site. No Molotov or any other shenanigans, and there are smokes for Gambit. Two of the three players with kits, they could go for a hero defuse. They're looking for the flank, and Molotovmeister finally there. Dennis now on the high ground, he's got a good angle, but he's expecting a peek. There's Hobbit taken down, going for his break transfer, but Zeus is off of it. And curious stuff. Oh, he wants to plant it deeper, it seems. He wants to then to be more desperate on time, but desperation will push Fnatic towards the A site, where they are so hungry for these kills. The CT's trying, double pick, but it's three kills for the T's. It falls apart again for Fnatic, for uh, Gambit, sorry. Mo stuck in a crossfire on the site, trying to delay the spray. It will be good enough. What a hero play from Mo. Back and forth these rounds. Advantage for the T's, but Dozier and Adren are still causing problems. Dozier with that almost infamous UMP. Making it two versus two. Hobbit in banana. Needs to uh, get his rotation on, but they could be coming to B from CT. But now the information spotted. Dozier! He did not know anything about that second kill. But it goes away. Just too much sex god oozing from every orifice. That was a weird one. Five to two. And Nice first shot there from JW. That's one. There's another quickly approaching. Here's the sound cues there. A whiff and the smoke might be a godsend there for him to help him stay alive in this position as he may look to go around the back here. Dennis comes into play. Call on the side though by Adren. And all of a sudden it's down to Hobbit. That's a great pick from Hobbit taking JW down, leaving Crims alone. I don't know if he's, been, if he's been spotted. He's got two kills, so surely he must have been. Crims in the red. What does he do in this situation? All he can do is dr uh, dry peek. He's got no grenades. Hobbit playing an off angle, and that's going to save him from the pre fire. Hobbit feeling the tension, but he will prevail, be successful for his team once again, and reset Fnatic. Tech Nines, Kevlar, ever dangerous on track. Got a quick two, but who knows what the hell just happened. It did yeah. seem a bit scrappy the way they're, they're, they're approached to Ivy. I mean, maybe they thought it was just USP or something, but it did seem a bit scrappy from Gambit. Yeah, I, think, I mean, Gambit just tried to go through Pop Dog and, and T Main at the same time and just look at this. Oh man, just coming in from above there, dropping down from the top of the train. That is some good timing, if ever I've seen it, from JW. And that is certainly a bit disappointing for Gambit, but they have seven rounds on the board still, so really competitive game of train at the moment between these two teams. And we see once again the double up. How many will he make it, though? Is Buster will get challenged. Quick flashbang and Zeus making it quite awkward, JW though swooping in from the side eliminates Mo and there's still more work to be done as he holds on to construction three versus four the last man still rotating just now for Fnatic trying to force their way through construction there's a Molotov remaining on Gambit and that's about it Dozier will have to dedicate himself to the flank for the time being but there's nobody there they're all coming in from CT three players the funnel through construction is it going to work out going for the wide because one of these players gonna, that's not going to work out for him though two versus three they're still checking the back especially with Olofmeister alive surely 
He's coming in from the back, but no, they're all at the front now. Smoke's down, and the Hero Diffuse can come in from the CC side. They don't need to cover, and there won't be any kills. What an absurd retake from Fnatic. That is some good counter-strike there from them. And especially JW, able to get just these kills, these cheeky frags, just repositioning. Going, he's got no ability to really take any shots here. Olaf Meister pressuring the bomb, tapping it, trying to force Doja out into the open. Doja makes the first shot. Now things get dangerous here. Crims has a lot of health, but Doja has got headshots for days. Going for the hold here. Very brave. Oh, Gravik gets the round. That was so close. That is every pistol round so far. Four of four pistol rounds have gone the way of... There's the peak and misses it. Cold misses it. The shot. And now it's on Phelps and it seems like Dupree's got a pretty good idea where he's coming from, obviously, with the nades going through. It's not gonna help and Phelps, a little bit of spray damage, but Glaive is still alive. He gets the headshot and lost the spray! In fact, the grenade only flashes once, and Kevin gets a refrag instantly. Sip with a kill on Phelps, and now Cold in the corner. So much trouble. They're trying to see if they can hunt him down. Oh my god! Cold Zero! Are you kidding me? Takes both in one shot, and the next one from Taco dropping Dupree, leaving Kevin now in a one on three. That kind of a defense you don't see every day, ladies and gentlemen, and the time is going to run out. Kevin may have got a double, but SK Gaming are going to win the round. Still two players alive, but a warping attempt. What is this? Cold crouching behind the box. He can make all the difference here, and sure enough, he picks up one. They're coming for the smoke, though. Furfell, he had to react. There's only four seconds. He's around the box, trying to see if he can get the plant down. Taco with a headshot. Slave coming out, but Taco's a hero, taking three kills and shutting down Astralis. That's incredibly close, but it works out in the end. I want a replay of Taco's expression there at the end. 7 HP device, and that is going to prompt a rotation coming through. Kjervi and Zipmix already backing off towards CT spawn. I mean, device has to call for some backup. He is so low. Fallen wants him to do that. You can see he's setting up for the rotation. He's thinking, yes, yes. Come help out your, your wounded teammate. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here with the AWP to snipe you out. Down to 50 seconds. Let's see if this boost is going to work out. Glaive, timing is everything. His teammate's going to get Molotov. He just runs in there. And that's going to be traded quick by Fallen. That might have been a bit drastic. Capri goes down. And now things are looking much better for SK Gaming in the B bomb side. Device on almost no health at all. And he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He actually gets a kill on one. And Sip is there to try and follow it up. Ferb goes down again. 30 seconds left now. It's a two on two. And Device doing so much work. Another headshot coming in. And Taco goes down. Device on just seven health. Gets a quad kill to save the round for his team. Come on, man. How do they not clear the bomb side of him? It turns out that uh, Astralis have got some star power too. Cold? <laughs> Eventually, no, they just smoke him off and Perfect. Cold Sierra's coming in as well. Astralis, two more kills and the first map is there, but Fallen says no. There's the one. Now can he get another two? C set 70 out for Cold Sierra looking for the kill. He takes down Sip and Flame in the corner. Sprays one and coming in and there's the second. Astralis gonna pick up the first map of the quarterfinals against SK Gaming. That took a lot longer than they would have wanted to. And the fight is not even close to over yet, but what a relief. And Glaive as well, we failed a couple of close clutches. Yes. Only fitting that it's him that's allowed to bring them all the way home. When Fallen picks up that AWP, he only had the U. They have to move quick. And looking for the headshot, it's Fallen. He's not going to find it just yet. Oh, never mind. Finds the one on Glaive. But Device is there to trade, and now it's all on cold with the AK. There's the one. And the pressure is on, Device with only three HP, and he's to win this fight, and it's not gonna happen. But I think once again, I think once again, there will not be enough time for the Diffuse, and SK Gaming. It's so it's damn It's not gonna close. happen. It's not gonna happen. No way! Come on! Clear from what I can see right now, Map. Molotovs are there, Nate. Again, oh, well timed. That is huge. That's because so it's on a reset round. They've already got damage, and now just fall into the rain. God B! He is the God B as he shuts down Drop one more time. Henny in a one versus five. Apparently, they didn't bring enough to tear down a wall this high.
Oh, it's so beautiful. The nade. Hit the gear so low on HP as well. Absolute blunder there from Big. Not watching their angles at all. You've got five players alive. Why is no one watching the platform? And Eddie, he finds another kill as well. Takes two. This is falling apart for Big. He's up to top three on 15 HP. The bomb has not been planted. Surely he can't do it. And it's Henny who steps up just when they need him. Three kills in the round. And six in a row for Immortals. Big are starting to crumble. Another pause required, I would say. That's terrific. That should not be happening, man. Why is no one watching the platform? Toward window. Look, he backs it off. He's got a smoke. He's got the kit. But if he goes immediately on top of it, Lucas is going to play aggressive so that he can't hold it. He might have gotten away with it, but there's no sense chancing it if he still has time. Holds off close side. This is going to be the hold because it's going to force him back. He's got the wide side around. He's protected. What a brilliant Molotov. What a brilliant Molotov to force out the time and position. Very calm. Great work there from the gear. Knew exactly what he had to do there. I was about to say as we were building that one. G that actually got his aim set first upon landing, and that means bombs planted immortals. All they have to do is hold off Nex and Tapson, and they'll take the map. KNG might roast alive in pit. He's forced back. Nex gets Henny. KNG gets Nex. Drake goes back. Tapson's in the open. It's all one to him. And it's one oh. bullet. One bullet from Tapson that keeps them alive. I thought it was done. The P250 out of the apartment somehow finds two frags. Key was low, sure. Ready for KNG because yeah. he's actually looking top middle. He could be caught off right now. This could call for the rotation back the other direction as he comes around the corner and nails it. Thankfully, though, they would get the bomb at the exact same time with aggression in banana. Yeah, that wasn't ever going to work out for the T side at that point. This should be a big victory. 40 seconds remaining. They've locked down the bomb with the gear with the smart play. He's actually in second middle here. He can go towards underpass, maybe even a step further and try and backstab KNG as next tucks himself into the corner to try and defend that bomb the best he can. Huge problem for KNG, but still having a chance. Finds his first kill. Next is low. It could all fall apart. Look, he is too slow for that because he doesn't know that he's already gone oh, down no. mid, so he does have the bomb, but he's also gone slow himself, not knowing that Legia is on the flank. He could sort this. No, he's not. He's going to go back toward it. He's going to go right back toward it. Another oh, no. knife. He's missed it. Oh, no. And I don't know Portuguese and can't read lips, but I would say there's some choice words to attempt the big players in that because it's a round they had to win. They've got to get off it. Oh, they let it go. Five seconds. It was close. Like he's got a knife, but he's high. He's high, Ooh. and he's not going to find it. Immortals get to the fuse to find round five. How has that happened? Oh, Legia, it seemed like he'd done everything perfectly there. You spotted it. The flank was on point. The timing was perfect. He gets in connector, finds two frags, but the full defuse eludes him. Oh, dear. And that's similar to scenes we saw earlier in this series as well. Everything's perfect up until that point. It's looking so good. Shortly, surely, unless Tapsy can do something of it. They've not gone for it yet. When they do, shot in, and shot, and follow up. Tapson soloing the site as next hits a headshot on the Henny and Bolts is found as well. Big never give up the lead. They keep it 14-13. That's beautiful stuff from Tapson, as you were describing. He was the only player that could really do anything about that situation. They over look the upper platform position. He walks in, helps himself to two kills. Next help him out at that point as well. 